Okay, so in the previous video, we have already covered like how to install Oracle uh, Application Express 20.1 using Oracle 123 database and ARTS as a web listener. In this video, we will mainly cover like how to create a workspace and start using the Oracle applications using Apex. So, uh, so, so previously we have seen that while uh, installation, we have only provided the instant administration detail like admin and the admin password while running this this SQL script APX CHPWD. So we don't know what is a workspace and other details. So in this video, we are going to mainly cover like how to create our first workspace. So we just have to come uh, like below and we have to log in as an administrator administration. Okay, so we'll provide here the details. Or what we have like provided at the time of installation. Okay, here we go. So we are now in the Apex application development environment. So this is nothing but a workspace where we are going to build our application and all. So if you see as of now, we have logged in as an administrator into this workspace later we will see like how we can create a developer user or a user with a developer developer role okay so i will sign out this and i will log in back again as a admin user Okay, so we have logged in again back into the administration services. So here we are going to you we are going to create a developer user. So we directly go to the manage workspaces and manage developer end user. So if you see here as of now only these two users are present and we have already tried login into the workspace using this user. And now we are going to create a user with a developer role. So okay, provide some username email address kind of thing this is the username which the user is going to log in into the apex workspace workspace name in our case this is our workspace name and default schema is apex dev schema which we have created already this user is not an administrator this user is a developer right correct and this is all things are correct so here is the password so as of now i will provide this as a default password i can also set that the user can change the password after the login as of now i'm going to set this as a no okay Okay, so user is got created. We'll just quickly go and check whether we are able to log in or not. Here we go. So we have logged in into the Apex workspace as a developer user. So here we can actually create Apex application and we can we can go to the SQL workshop and explore the SQL related thing. So in next videos, we are going to see how we can create Apex application. Thank you for watching this video.